He's 6'6", 290 pounds, NFL defensive tackle. Didn't knock the cop down, but the cop got hurt. What is going on with these NFL players, and why isn't the league doing something about substance abuse? Quick clip. I'll be right back. What do you have to say about the charges filed against you? No words from 25-year-old Malik McDowell as he bonded out of the Broward County Jail Tuesday night following this. Oh. Cell phone video captured the six foot six, two hundred and ninety pound defensive tackle for the Cleveland Browns rushing toward a Broward Sheriff's deputy, then punching him in the face Monday afternoon, all while naked. Moments before deputies responded, it is staff members at the Learning Experience School in Deerfield Beach, which caters to children six months to six years old, who reported a suspicious man walking around the campus in the nude. Immediately enacted the security protocols and uh, put the center on lockdown. In court at his bond hearing, we heard about the injuries the deputy sustained. Bruising and swelling on his face has gotten worse since the incident. But McDowell's attorney told a judge there is more to the story. Somebody may have... Uh slipped him something or given him something that he was unaware of which explains some of this uh, bizarre behavior. his attorney says somebody slipped him something yeah they slipped him something all right i'm gonna say pcp anybody knows you can watch any video you want pcp makes the body really hot that's why they take off all their clothes their strength is ridiculous through the roof and they don't know what the hell they're doing Apparently, Malik didn't know what he was doing. Deerfield Beach, Florida, running around naked, goes to a child care center in the parking lot. Deputies respond, and sure as shit, he charges a deputy. And I'm going to give the deputy a lot of credit. This football player is 6'6", 290 pounds, and he was running full bore and didn't knock the cop down. Cop got injured. Serious facial injuries. Didn't go down. Maybe he should get an NFL contract. But my point in this video is, what the hell is going on in the NFL? And why are they not cracking down on substance abuse? It's obvious Malik has a problem. He was arrested in 2019 for a DUI, attacking another police officer. Now he's in Florida. Has to be high on PCP. Has to be. Nobody slipped, Nobody just slipped him anything. They gave him weed laced with PCP. And they have it. Naked. Child learning center. Attacking police officers. Could that cop have shot him? Absolutely. The way he charged him and hit him. Cop was in fear for his life. Could have shot him. He didn't. Which is great. But I think this football player needs some help. With substance abuse, and I think the league should be responsible for not cracking down on these players using drugs, DUIs, who's killing people and speeding cars, uh, domestic violence. The list goes on and on. It's not only in football, but you happen to see it in football a lot where the players are getting jammed up for drug use. One player on, uh, he's on a home video beating the crap out of his girlfriend, throwing her around like she was a rag doll. It, it, it's a problem, and I think it should be addressed. This football player is 25 years old. Obviously, he's a great player. He was drafted. He's playing with the Cleveland Browns. He's making money, and he still apparently is using something because you just don't run around naked out in the public in broad daylight and attack cops if you're not high, bottom line, okay? Yeah, I know there's people that probably do that shit, but I'm going to say a football player probably has a few bucks. I don't think he's just going to say, fuck it, I'm going to get all naked and run around, and I'm going to run through a child care center and then when the cops show up, I'm going to try to take one down. And again, kudos to that deputy for not going down. Because that motherfucker is big. And he hit him hard. And he didn't go down. But something needs to be done with this uh, drug use. It's getting out of control. And we see it way too much. And thank God nobody got severely injured. I know the deputy is injured. Non-life threatening, of course, which is great. I don't think this football player needs to be in jail. I think he needs severe substance abuse counseling. 
and maybe a little mental health counseling because <clears throat> that's not normal behavior. It's not normal behavior for a professional athlete to do shit like that. And yes, there has to be consequences. And yes, he should be charged. But no, he should not be in jail. He needs severe counseling. Definitely substance abuse. Who knows if there's something else going on. But it needs to be taken care of. I just had to make a quick uh, clip of this today because I just saw it. And I'm like, again, with the NFL players. Thank God nobody was killed. Nobody was severely injured. But... We don't run around naked in Florida or anywhere and attack police officers if we're in the right frame of mind. Somebody do something. The NFL needs to step up. The teams need to step up. The coaching staff, the trainers, his, play, his uh, teammates. Somebody's got to do something because somebody knows that some of these players are using substances that they shouldn't be. And again, we've seen it in the past, drunk driving, that people are getting killed, domestic violence incidents from football players. And we all know about the concussion syndrome, what do they call it, CTE? We know several players who had it, Junior Seau, one of them took his own life. Aaron Hernandez had it severely. We all know what he did. But it's a problem, and it needs to be addressed. And until it's addressed, we're gonna still we're gonna see this. We're gonna see it more and more and more. And people are gonna be hurt, and people are gonna suffer because the powers that be, meaning team owners, trainers, managers, coaches, league officials, they're not doing anything about it. Don't find them. Don't bench them. Get them help. Because they need it. Enough's enough with the with the the athletes, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that clip of the naked running man. Thank God it was blurred. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you will. I'd appreciate it. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified when another video is coming up. Hit the like button if you will. I appreciate it. I hope everybody is healthy and safe. And thanks for watching this quick clip. And I'll see you soon with something else. Have a great night.